Happy Friday Eve, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm, the Valley's Chief Weather Geek. And this is Weather for Weather Geeks as we get set for the weekend. And a pretty classic late October weekend is ahead. But we have one weather system to track over the next handful of days, and that's tomorrow's cold front. In the wake of last night's cold front, we had clouds this morning, but plenty of sunshine this afternoon. And as always, I always you know, kind of enjoy a nice sunset time lapse. This is from our Boardman camera looking to the west southwest here across from east or, or from a southern park mall i should say it was a great clear sunset out there this evening now temperatures today managed to rebound up to about 60 that's a good 15 degrees cooler than yesterday and about 20 degrees cooler than a couple of days ago but still a little bit warmer than the average our average at this time of the year is about 58 so we were just a shade above that this afternoon we are for the month when you factor in both highs and lows about a degree warmer than average it's a lock at this point that we'll finish October with a warmer than average temperature for the month as a whole, just like every other month here in the year 2024. In fact, we haven't had a cooler than average month in over a year now. It's been since the very last part of summer in 2023 since we've had a cooler than average month. I mentioned the foliage yesterday. You know, the leaf drop yesterday was pretty impressive with the breezes. Technically still at peak colors in most of the area, although there's fewer leaves on the trees certainly than there were a couple of days ago, and I think everyone's going to be past peak by this time next week, by about Halloween, um, thanks to some gusty breezes next week and the fact that, you know, it's almost the end of October. It's pretty typical for us to be past peak in the last few days of the month. So enjoy the really nice weather we're going to have at times, especially over the weekend, to check out the fall colors. It'll be one of your last best chances uh, to check out uh, what, uh, what the colors have for us this year. I think the colors overall this year have been okay, just not quite as good maybe as some of our more recent years. Uh, we can partly blame the lack of rainfall back in early parts of the autumn season. All right, in the meantime, uh, no rain out there this evening and none is coming over the next 12 hours or so. Actually, when you look across the country this evening, there's only one weather system of any consequence, and that's this front out here. This is what's tracking our way by Friday afternoon, and especially Friday evening might bring us a couple of showers. High school football forecast for Friday evening. It's the last Friday of the regular season, and you know a lot of us are going to stay dry, but some of us could get a sprinkle or a shower first part of the evening especially. I think the rain chances will go to zero pretty quickly towards the end of the evening. Temperature is not bad for the end of October, upper 50s to around 60 at the start of our, start of our games, and uh, 52 to 54 by the time things wrap up at the end of the fourth quarter at your local rivalry games Friday evening. All right, future cast. Let's time out our, our rain chances. Let's actually back up the animation to about midday. The modeling over the last few hours, some of our more recent runs of the high-res modeling would suggest that there might even be a renegade sprinkle trying to push in towards midday on Friday. This is well out ahead of the front. And yeah, I can't rule this out that you might have to flip on the wipers once or twice around midday. Uh, the approach of our front will mean the best chance for showers, I think, and that's late in the day. Our model here doesn't show much at all, really, though. So, you know, I don't think it's going to be much, but right around dinner time, right around kickoff of football games, could someone see a sprinkle or a shower? Yes, but again, want to emphasize that it's not going to be much rain. In the wake of this front, uh, some fair weather clouds to kick off Saturday. It'll be a sunny afternoon and a mostly sunny sky for the vast majority of Sunday as well. It'll be just a crisp autumnal appropriately enough last weekend of october penguin game day forecast it's another saturday evening kickoff just like last weekend at the ice castle as ysu takes on north dakota we're expecting kickoff temperatures in the lower 50s ending up in the lower 40s by the end of our games and just like high school football friday evening uh not too many weather concerns in fact the rain chances are pretty much zero i think for saturday evening small rain chances friday evening and pretty much no rain chances saturday evening. Check out the numbers, though, for next week. A big time warm-up is coming our way. By the time we head towards next Wednesday, uh, we're talking record-challenging warmth. The record is 75 on Wednesday. We've bumped up our forecast to 75 on Wednesday. Now, just beyond this forecast for Halloween itself, a week from today, you know, a week out, it's kind of a fool's errand to try to get too specific with timing rain, but at this point, there's pretty good agreement on our weather modeling that rain chances would be restricted towards late in the day. Not great news on Halloween because, of course, a lot of trick-or-treaters will be out late in the day, but that's the way it looks right now. A big story for Halloween will be how warm it is. This high of 74, if this verifies, this would be our warmest Halloween since the early 70s. The warmest Halloween on record is 78 degrees. Don't think we'll see that, but could we see mid-70s next uh, Thursday? Yeah, that's 
a distinct possibility. Just a reminder, I, I've talked about this a little bit lately, but in case you haven't watched some of our recent videos, uh, my annual winter forecast is coming up in about two and a half weeks on Monday, November the 11th. The long version will be posted here online, kind of in the same vein as Weather for Weather Geeks. The shorter to the point version, uh, with not as many details, of course, because we're limited on time. That'll be on our newscasts on 21 News at 5, 6, and 11 o'clock on Monday evening, November the 11th. Hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you back here on Monday for a fresh edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Next week, we'll talk about the big warm-up that's coming, and we'll take some more looks at the longer range, including some more discussion about the upcoming winter next week on Weather for Weather Geeks.